and they can be held in place by that. So it's kind of right in the same area. And one of these stupid screens, we got to press it in, pull it up at the same time. Stupid design. So, how's our panel wanting to come off any better? So my fingers is want to come up. Does it feel like it wants to separate? Not so much. Not so much. So this means we get to use our black stick. Usually on any laptop. Little keyboard bezel, the part that's right between your keyboard here, right here, keyboard, and then you got this little plastic piece that goes between the keyboard and the screen. Usually, there's a couple screws behind this that helps keep the system together. got a Dell, fortunately for you, you got a little clip here, you just put in your black stick, you pop it up, and lo and behold, you get in there just fine. Um, this compact, apparently does not want to just let me get right behind it. So let's try the dental pick. Pull up a little bit on the plastic here. Let's see if we can get just a snap a little. And keep in mind there's a difference between snap and <laughs> crack. Uh, here, just a little slight ding. That's okay, especially if you're not putting much pressure on it. If you hear a huge, <laughs> you just broke something, most likely. See, right now I want to get this one to come up with just a little bit of pressure. It's not really coming. So I'm going to get the tool out of there before some damage happens. This is why I don't want to use metal because right there, you chip the, your black stick ain't going to get into these spots, unfortunately. Like it or not, HP Compact, they need a better way to take their screens off. So we definitely got some freedom here. This does not want to come up. So the important thing is, do not ever, ever force anything on one of these. Most of the plastic pieces are not cheap. Always take your time. If you're not sure on how it comes apart, read the manual. Uh, Compaq doesn't always make theirs easy to find the manuals. Sometimes you gotta go out and actually browse the internet to try and find them. I do not see any additional screws that I've missed. Those three there was nowhere within range, but I'm trying to take off. So let's eject the plastic holder for their PCMCIA card. And I'm going to try it one more time, real quick. It's going to cooperate. I'm going to try using a black stick. Try and 
Just give it a little twist on some of these tight spots. See if it'll just loosen it. It's going to give. There we go. Careful with these bezel plates as well. Bending them at too steep of an angle will snap them in half, which will piss you off thoroughly because you'll find out that these things are usually about 80 bucks. <clears throat> there we go. There's three of the screws we took out. And none of those were the little short ones, it looks like. So we got that. Set this guy on top of this here. And it looks like our wireless is going to be under the keyboard. How do I know this? Two wires for your wireless will go up into your screen. You usually use your screen as an antenna. All it is is basically two wires going into it. And I see those two wires coming down out of the keyboard and behind the keyboard. Down from the monitor and behind the keyboard. If I can talk right. Now, we got this here. It looks like it's just leaving. The monitor connector. Which we will have to use L forceps. I think this is where the similarities between the DV7000 and this guy are ending. DV7000 has a connection like this. Nor did it have a wireless card in your keyboard. So let's try to dental pick this no she's too little edges. This is not a zero force connector, it's just a normal connector, if you want to call it a normal connector. Careful with your dental picks, they are sharp usually. There. Do keep track of where your wires go, how they're routed, all that. It's usually pretty obvious. Things have been sitting there for several years and under extreme pressure. So, like this one, it's kind of obvious it's going to have to fold back in. Um, pretty good about remembering how the wires route, <laughs> ironically. Um, Now, usually for the monitors, you got four screws there. Take them out, but I can't take that out yet because we got the wireless which goes under the keyboard. We got to disconnect that before we do this. Let's better get the monitor off. Why do you have to take the monitor off to get to the motherboard? Well, it's not like a desktop where you can just really pull the cables out of the way, push them to the side. Pretty much laptop, you have to take it all the way apart. If by some chance of luck you come across one that doesn't, <laughs> take a picture of it because it's a freak. Yep, yeah, right there is your wireless card. Another zero force 